today from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's week 17 of the NFL on EA Sports. Stone's throw from historic Monument Circle in downtown Indianapolis. We are at the beautiful Lucas Oil Stadium. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with their opponents. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Room here to run. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 23 carries, 91 yards. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And when I watch them operate, I see a unit that's playing with extreme confidence. Offensive line, tight end, wide receivers. You see a group that wants their number eight rusher in the league end up being in the top five before it's over. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the give, this is Harris. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. This is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Second and goal from the one. Back to throw. Burns. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Pats have taken the early lead.
On first and 10, Burns. He'll find Williams on the slant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On first down, Burns flush to his right. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Back to throw again. Finding Williams once more, complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 16. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Looking to throw, Burns. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Again, it's Harris. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Burns. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. On first and 10, Burns. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On third down, here's Harris. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First down, and they go back to Harris. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first down, it's Harris. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Back to throw, Burns. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So they're gonna come to the line here and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And his kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. So three points there. First down, Burns. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Caught left 
inside, Williams. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on first down, Burns. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll look to throw again. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So that Charles. First and 10, Burns over the middle complete. That's Williams. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Burns got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball. They go back to the air, and he'll be brought down by the Colts. Brady Jarrett has now recorded 10 sacks on the season, and that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Burns got his man. It's Williams. And he's got this down to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This pass finds its way to Williams. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Uh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked off down near the 5. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Back to throw. Burns. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Harris. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? 
He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. They'll look to throw on third, and he will not get away. He's sacked back around the three-yard line. Brady Jarrett in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on four. to Harris to begin the drive. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. New England on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Only needing two yards on second down. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down and slow to get up. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Looking to throw. Burns. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now it looks like he'll throw here. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. To throw on second down, Burns. And yeah, the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Back to throw. Burns to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. And obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any. Touchdown, Patriots. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Patriots are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. So the Patriot offense stays out there, and they'll line up and go for two. They'll look to throw, and he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean... So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors, and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout.